Labor Day so much. Did you get the ashes? A piece of cake. You know, you can learn a lot about a person going through their house. You know Mr. Collins who lives down the block? He must be a real stud. I mean, he's a bachelor, but his whole closet is filled with women's clothing. <laughs> Pretty fancy thinking for a dollar today, Mom. Well, we got the groceries. Huh. Thanks so much for inviting us and letting us pay for it. I think I still have five dollars left if you need something to get the fire going. You know, Steve, before we eat, I'm just gonna check on Aunt Tooney. Marcy, she's dead. Gone, fried, dust. <laughs> Paying sailors in hell. You know, Aunt Tooney never liked you. She didn't like anything that didn't rub its face back and forth across her pot belly. <laughs> then why didn't she like you? Mom, you're hungry. And your underwear's under the table. <laughs> Uh, he's getting ready, honey. And you know what that means. Let's cook. <laughs> Finally, we can eat. Not quite yet. Labor Day. What does it mean to us? <laughs> to answer that question, we must hark back to earlier times. <laughs> you see, kids, while the cave woman sat around getting fat, smoking cigarettes, and watching the Phil Java Man show, the caveman braved the elements, risking life and limb, and the prehistoric beasts, and only the hair on his back. In 1492, Columbus brought Labor Day to America, and the women still did nothing. And that's what Labor Day means to me. May we eat now? Not quite yet. What other torture can he possibly inflict on us? Or the land <laughs> of the free <laughs> and the home of the brave. <laughs> And the burgers take the field. 